evening and welcome back to an echoey Sunday night shave. Uh, like I said last Sunday night, uh, we are on a trip this weekend. Uh, it's actually Friday night at the time of recording this, uh, shaving for service tomorrow. Uh, we were in church Thursday night, this morning, tonight, and then we'll be in service tomorrow morning and then we'll be traveling home on Saturday afternoon. Uh, so let's get into the shave. Tonight, I'm gonna be using a product that's been in my home for a while, but I've not actually used yet, and that is Sterling's Coconut Lime. This has a very good coconut citrusy scent. Uh, <laughs> I decided to purchase this because it was going out of uh, their seasonal scent is what this is. And uh, Sterling was having a sale on their seasonal scents, and I told, the wife that we needed to purchase it because we may not be able to buy it again and uh, she fell in love with it made me buy the body lotion the post shave balm and everything that goes with it so that'll be the soap for the evening uh, the coconut lime I'm gonna be using my rich man shaving brush get that turned up where you can see it rich man shaving brush uh, I shaved last night so I've got one day's worth of growth uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the lather whipped up and I'll be right back with you so we've got the lather whipped up here. Uh, you've seen me whip up a sterling lather before, so nothing I need to show you. Really great stuff. And the shine, there's a light right above my head, so if this is glaring, my bad. Nothing I can really do about it. So we've got the lather whipped up here. And we're gonna go ahead and get a plot. I've already wet the dome. So we'll start putting soap on the scalp. Uh, tonight, as far as some of the gears concerned, I'm gonna break one of my cardinal rules. Uh, I was sent some kai blades, a couple of kai blades by James Bayer over at Before and After Shaves. That's his YouTube channel, go check him out. And uh, I used one last night when I shaved and uh, I'm gonna use it again. Uh, I don't really have a blade bank with me or somewhere I can store an old blade. I could probably put it in my razor's travel kit, but we're gonna try it out. A lot of guys get multiple shaves with different blades, and it's been a while since I've tried a blade for a second time. So we're gonna we're gonna try her out. All right, got it put on the dome there. Just gonna be a two-pass shave tonight. I'm not even gonna touch it up, not even gonna attempt to touch it up. Uh, just so I don't cut myself because my touch-ups are usually where I if I'm do if I do a lot of bleeding that's where it happens all right so we'll get the razor assembled like I said cow blades second use cow blades are unmarked uh, they don't have any writing or uh, engravings or etchings or anything like that completely blank blade gonna be using the uh, British Gillette Tech head with a ball end handle. It is not the handle for this head. This is a Travel Tech head, uh, but I don't like the tiny Travel Tech handle. So let's get the first pass going, and I'll catch you in the in between passes. Doing pretty good so far. Uh, not too much irritation, actually none at all yet. <laughs> so we shall see. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to this lather, just to 
just a tiny bit just to slick it up a little bit for the second pass like I said I'm not doing a touch up pass tonight so just gonna get these two passes in here I love sterling I absolutely love their soaps uh, I've been using the lemon chill bath soap that I bought uh, I can't use it when I've got a spider bite because it breaks me out and I don't know if it's the spider bite that breaks me out or what it is but <laughs> I've had seven spider bites so far this summer and I hope not to have any more so we shall see but as far as the blades concerned it's a really good blade um, I did a two pass shave the other night with one and uh, the first pass was good the second pass was kind of kind of skin cutting <laughs> well it didn't really cut any skin it just kind of skinned me so to say and uh, that's why I'm only doing two passes tonight is because of that I'm trying not to have any bleeders I prefer not to bleed this time being that we're on a trip and all all right I may have added just a little too much water to the soap but oh well it is what it is There you go, folks. We are lathered up. All right, path number two. Uh, we went across, now we're gonna go against the grain. I lied, I'm gonna do a little bit of a touch up. I think I missed a patch in the back. two times in a row. That was from the pool. It smells like straight chlorine. <laughs> Actually, I just turned it off. All right. Uh, as far as post shave is going for tonight, it's a sad day, folks. I was using my island block last night and it's a gr granite countertop and a stoneware sink of some kind and I dropped my island block. It's gonna be hard for you to see that. Well, there we go. 
I chipped the corner off of it. using one blade for more than one shave on the head. I've used countless blades multiple times and I just never have a good shave the second round. So we are done folks. We are done with that garbage. Alright, let me dry my Allen block off here. i seen some guys, they don't even dry theirs off, they just put it back in the container. And that may be one reason some guys' Allen blocks don't last as long as mine has. Albeit, I've had a beard for a long, long time, shaved it for a while, and then started growing it back. But, I dry it off every time. So, all right. Coconut lime post-shave balm. As far as the scent on this is concerned, it smells just like less soap. Uh, during the shave, the soap has probably medium scent strength uh, for the coconut lime. Sterling's scents aren't usually too overpowering. So if you're looking for something that smells strong off the puck, but kind of mellows out a little bit during the shave, Sterling would be right up your alley. Um, just a really good product. I really love great slickness. I love, I just, I love Sterling. I love, I love, I like, I like it a lot. All right, let's dry the head off here. Oh, ooh. I got some blood. Can you see it? I'm not sure where that's at. But I got blood, folks. I got blood. Here somewhere. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's have on that bad boy up. Right there. Something right in there. can't find it. It don't burn. You'd expect it to burn. I've already alumed it, so the burn's not there anymore. But we got blood for show. Blood for show. Well, it's not for show. For sure. For sure. All right. Coconut lime pochet balm. Just a little dab will do you. You don't need a whole lot of this stuff. It's great stuff. I'm going to take the wedding band off before I forget. Oh. This is one of those scents. It's like it messes with your mind. Sometimes you smell it and you get all coconut, no citrus. Other times I smell it, I get all citrus, no coconut. Uh, I don't know what leads that to happen. Uh, I brought just a little bit of the small batch shave tonic from Derby City Chop Shop. We will finish the shave off with that. I'm going to pour that, wipe my hand off here, right into the palm. Not a whole lot left in this little vial, but enough to burn the scalp and leave you smelling fresh. Fresh. All right, folks, just to recap, we use the coconut lime. Let me try that off. My bad. Coconut lime by Sterling. Whipped that up with the Rich Man Shaving Brush. British Gillette Travel Tech Head. Ball end handle. Cow blade. Second use. 
and it will be the last time I have a second use blade on the head. I'll clean all this off after I get done recording. Uh, followed that up with the Razor Rock Allen block and then finished everything off with the coconut lime poche bulb and just a just a kiss of the small batch shape tonic. Well, hope you've enjoyed tonight's live. Uh, next week we will be back in the bathroom at the house. Um, let me think. Next weekend I have a wedding, so we may do a shave from an no, we will. I'll have to shave Friday night again. So we will do a shave from an undisclosed location. No, I know where it's gonna be. I'll tell you next week. So hope you've enjoyed tonight's hotel glowy shave and uh, we'll see you next Sunday night.